And good evening and welcome here to Guymon, Oklahoma for tonight's ball game. A doubleheader between the Diamond Lady Tigers and the Southwestern Heights Mustangs out of Kansas. And the second end of the doubleheader will be the boys game immediately following this one. And the opening tips won and controlled by the Southwestern Heights. They'll work from right to left. They're in black uniforms with white numbers and uh, lettering as well as red trim. Guymon will go on the defensive having a very good year so far. And they'll continue to try to look to keep that going here at this point. Double dribble and a turnover. And so with 7.42 to go in first quarter, the Lady Tigers will get their first possession. Here comes Guymon working from left to right. They'll work against the zone defense. Try to get things going early. A team that can score the basketball. As they look for movement here. Drives, comes back, and a foul. That'll be two free throws, I believe. A chance for Guyman to strike first here. So the Lady Tigers immediately get the ball after the double dribble and go right to work. Trying to attack this zone as both teams come out here playing a zone defense which is pretty common in high school basketball in this area. First free throw good, makes it one nothing in favor of the Lady Tigers. And now they'll have a discussion here. Now they're gonna change it around here. And change the foul. So they're using three officials tonight, going with Kansas rules, which is Unusual here in the state of Oklahoma to see that. Second free throw, no good. And here come the Mustangs, the Lady Mustangs out of Southwestern Heights. Short corner, she's standing out of bounds, and that can be confusing with that orange on orange right there, but nonetheless, it is a turnover, and Guyman will get the ball. And so here come the Lady Tigers. Leading one nothing, seven to go, first quarter. Drives, shot no good. Rebound belongs to Southwestern Heights. And here they come the other way. Tipped and just about stolen away and hits the scorer's table. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Lady Mustangs. Here comes the inbound in front of the timeline. And Southwestern Heights goes to work here. Just about tipped, stolen away again. And here comes the fast break, a three-on-two opposition. And they're going to call a block there, three-on-two opposition. With the advantage of Guyman, his free throws on the way. And looks like Lady Tiger down injured there. Yeah, they're going to need some help here. This is on the first. And we'll try one more in a one nothing ball game. 6.35 to go. Second free throw off the mark. And they're not going to have a chance to substitute here unless they intentionally foul, which they choose not to. Short corner now underneath. And the basket is good. And they come the other way. Edge is just going to play through it here. Now, Southwestern Heights leads 2 0. Tipped, it'll stay with Guyman, and there's the substitution. There's the inbound. Three, launch, no good. Rebound, tipped, and controlled by Guyman. And the layup is good by Armstrong, makes it 3 to 2 with under six to go, first quarter. So Southwestern hides with it, and lost the handle there. Either gonna be back quarter or turnover. I'm just gonna let it go, and Lady Tigers will get it underneath their own basket. So here comes Gaiman with it, leading three to two. As they'll inbound underneath their own basket. Taps the ball, and here comes the inbound. Works it out on the right side. Trying to give there, just kind of 
hold on to it. Picked over to the left hand side. Now underneath the basket. Kind of a little bit far on the pass. Reverse layup. Good. Tough shot. Knocked down. Makes it 5 2. Here comes the full court press. Southwestern Heights able to break the press towards the basket. Now trying to kick it out. And just kind of losing the handle there. Finally, it's able to be corralled. Ball fake could have been a walk. Shot no good. Rebound controlled by Southwestern Heights and a foul. First free throw off front iron, no good. A couple of substitutions here for Southwestern Heights. They trail 5-2 with 5-11 to go in the first quarter of this one. A lot of basketball left. Second free throw, bounces around and good. 5-3 score. Here comes Guyman, back the other way. Underneath the basket, and the foul. They're going to call that a reach probably all day long. I believe that is the second foul on uh, Southwestern Heights. Maybe the third. Could have been a foul there. Wow. And they're uh, going to call over the back on Guyman after what normally would have been a foul. And a turnover. Already five combined fouls here in this first quarter. Long inbound. Corralled by Southwestern Heights. Here they go across the timeline. Tipped. And still loose. And stolen away. Now the fast break starts. And it's stolen right back. And we're going to call a foul in the backfield. That's the third foul there on the Lady Tigers. I'm sorry, that is the second foul on the Lady Tigers. Trying to run high, low offense, layup, no good, and rebound along to Diamond. Here come the Lady Tigers, back the other way. Looks, I don't know. Oh, was that not a foul? <laughs> but uh, they're going to call jump ball, which is a crazy call. There's the inbound. She'll try again. That time, hits home. Big three-pointer makes it eight to three. Pass ahead, a little far, just about stolen away. Now they pass it back to the top. Trying the high short offense again. And a foul. Taking anything here today. First three throws good, makes it eight to four. A couple of substitutions for both ball clubs. So one more free throw on the way in an eight to four ball game. Diamond leads over visiting the Southwestern Heights. Second free throw good, makes it eight to five. And here comes Diamond back the other way. Off the timeline, setting it up. Top of the key, they're trying to find some continuity here offensively. Gets the screen, roll, step back, probably a foul again, lay up no good. And rebound belongs to Southwestern Heights. Here come the look. I guess their both teams are adjusting to the physical style of play they're going to allow here today. Pass ahead. Drive, kicks, great pass into the basket, and the shot is good, makes it 25. With 3.28 to go, first quarter. Comes Southwestern Heights once again, out ahead. Had an open three, drives now, tough shot, almost good. Rebound, and a tough shot, almost good again. And rebound belongs to Guyman, and here comes the Lady Tigers the other way. Doubling up the Lady Mustangs of Southwestern Heights. Draws the foul, and it'll be two free throws who lead 10 to five. The first free throw rattles out no good. So second free throw on the way here momentarily. 3.07 to go in the first quarter. 
10 to 5 in the scores. Like a free throw hits home as well, making 11 to 5. As Lady Mustangs run out again against a full court press defense. Great job dribbling right through it. Steps back. Good jump shot. No good. Rebound belongs to the guy in the Lady Tigers. And that was a decent possession. That was a good look there for Southwestern High. Something they want to think about there. Bree rattles out no good. Five for the board belongs to the Lady Tigers. Tipped. Thought about a three. Now backs up. Sets up again. 2.42 to go. Kick on the right side. Steps in just inside the paint. Now kicks. Stepping into a jump shot off the mark. Rebound ball to the Lady Tigers again. First home. On a jump shot there. Makes it 13 to 5. Big shot for the Lady Tigers. Once again, open look from the left hand side of the key. Goes to dribble through some flat. Kick short corner. Trying to go high post. Now back to the top. And they're going to say a timeout. Here's the inbound, and here we go, back to the action. Approaching two minutes to go. That's underneath the basket. And a jump ball. We'll stay with Southwestern Heights with 2.02 to go in the first quarter. Inbound, right side now, all back to the top. They'll reset things and try again. I'm in kind of trapping here, short corner. They try to work it down underneath. Lob stolen away. And here come the Lady Tigers back the other way. Pick up the dribble and travel. So that's a turnover. Go along to Southwestern Heights. He's gotten good looks, just hadn't been able to hit home yet. And last couple of possessions this zone defense from the Lady Tigers of Guyman have really knocked a hole into this attack here from Southwestern Heights. Thrown away, and they're going to say tipped. <clears throat> and so it'll say with the Lady Mustangs. So here comes the inbound on the, we'll say right in front of the Lady Tigers here. Inbound left side, thought about a three, now kicks to the top. Swings over to the right, over to the top. A little long pass out of bounds on a turnover. So it goes back to the Lady Tigers. Quickly down the floor they go. 122 to go first quarter. Towards the basket, kicks outside, lost the handle of it. The scrum for it on the ground and finally corralled by one of the Lady Mustangs of Southwestern Heights. And here they go the other way. Fighting this zone on the right side of the key. Or it's a short corner, trying to work it down low post. Backside was wide open. Good job on the rebound, blocked. And the board belongs to Gunn. They've kind of calmed down here on the fouls here for quite a while. Still four to three in favor of a guy that's only three fouls here in this first quarter. Three ball, good by Nash. 16 to 5. 34 seconds to go. And John's stolen away. And here come the Lady Tigers back the other way. And a scrum on the floor. Then lost her footing there. 22 seconds to go. Lost the handle and out of bounds. So 19 seconds to go. And a 16 to 5 lead. In favor of the Lady Tigers of Guyman. Southwestern Heights will. Most likely get the last shot here before the end of this first quarter. Drives, jump shot, rolling around and good. Five seconds to go. Oh, four seconds, three seconds, two, one. And that's the end of the first quarter. The score is 16 to seven. Guyman leads over Southwestern Heights. And so here's the inbound. Lady Tigers go to work against what looked like it was going to be a trap. And the trap's coming again. Right side, three ball off the mark. Crashing the boards. Lady Tigers come up with it. Now it's loose and out of bounds. And they're going to say it goes over to Southwestern Heights on the hustle play from the Lady Mustangs. Here's the inbound. Just about lost the handle. Pass ahead. It's a three on 
two now. Still fighting for it, bounces out. And rebound belongs to the Lady Tigers, and here comes Diamond to pass ahead. And for an easy layup. Probably could have been a foul there, but uh, they call it a block. Inbound, they're trying three off the mark. And here comes Sandra from high school. Right Cross court. Into a jump shot way off the board, no good. And Diamond's got the board, and here come the Lady Tigers. Pass ahead, lob underneath the basket. That shot, no good, but free throws all the way here for the Lady Tigers. And the first free throw rattles out, no good. One more on the way. Second is home. And that gives the Lady Tigers a 10 point lead. With 7.02 to go in this first half of play. Steps into a tough jump shot and knocks down. First points for Southwestern Heights in there. In three or four minutes. Head and screen, top of the key. Driving the lane, wanted a foul, didn't get it, and the rebound going to Southwest Knights. They're going to lay the Mustangs. Off the head, lost the handle. Foul, the hook shot up, no good, and the rebound tipped ahead. The They're going to lay the Tigers. That's ahead. Nice forward, no good. Rebound along to Brandon, stepping back. Here's the pass ahead. Oh, wow, broke open there. Takes it all the way to the basket. Coast to coast, misses the easy layup. And just about stole the ball from out of bounds. That was a big chance for points there. Squandered. Here's the inbound, six minutes to go, two minutes in to this second quarter. Swing, kick, cross court. And into a three, four. 29, wow. What a shot that was, 29 now with 5.44 to go. Trying to get across the timeline and the jump ball. Once again, probably could have had a, maybe a foul there. Confusion, mass confusion arrow on what's going on. It's like mistake the possession arrow. As it'll stay with Southwestern Heights. Trap now got out of it. Nice work pass, drives, great drive to the basket, and the shot is good. And a timeout done. And so here we go with the Lady Tigers with the basketball. They lead 20 to 11 over Southwestern Heights after spending a timeout. Pushing five to go. Maybe got away with a walk there and threw it away on the tournament. Well, here comes Southwestern Heights to face this full court press once again. And down. And they're working out of the trap. Pass it in. Back side. Oops. Steps in. That kind of turns into a pass. And the layup is good. Play to 13. The Lady Tigers just can't shake Southwestern Heights here. But they still lead to 20 to 13. <laughs> Trying to work it down in the post. Rise, kicks. Coming into a three off the mark. Good rebound there by the Lady Tigers. Kick that side and try again. Off the mark again. And a loose foul. That's the fifth. On Diamond. So here comes Southwestern Heights. 
They trail by 7, 20 to 13. Cross court lob. A dump, facts. Oh, I'll have a look there for a moment. I'm able to pull it off. Three ball, left hand side of the key. Need it. Got it. Going to 16 now. Lady Tiger is kind of on the ropes here after being off such a good start. Drives right to the basket. Foul down the basket. Good. And one of those bad foul calls to us against Southwestern High is probably there. They were not, not necessarily bad calls, just different interpretation than from what they usually call in Oklahoma. I would say they're, they're interpreting these rules a little bit differently than they are in Oklahoma usually. What's a foul in Kansas may or may not be a foul in Oklahoma. And that's just the way it goes from one state to the other. 22 to 16, 4 12 to go. And the free throw is good, 23-16. Lob inbound, trying to shake this press. And a travel. And so here comes the inbound. Back side of the timeline, across the timeline. Here we go, halfway through the second quarter. Team's starting to kind of settle in here. Kicks, another round three, drives, but he got away with a the walk there. The back jumper off the mark, no good, and the rebound is Southwestern Heights. And here they go the other way. And he got away with the walk there. That's ahead. Bounce pass, now high post, turn around jumper. Good, off the glass. 23-18, 337 to go, first time. There's Diamond with it. With the screen. Backside. Drive, kick. And a three. Way off the mark. Rebound. Great rebound there by Diamond. To the basket and a foul. And the seventh on Heights. It is a bonus. Foul, though, put Diamond into the bonus. 24 to 18. Tell Chance here to make it 25 to 18. Second one from the floor, good. 25-18, Lady Tigers back on the defensive end on Southwestern Heights. They're only gonna call a foul there, that's the sixth on Godin. Kind of reached in there a little bit. Here comes the inbound with 3.12 to go. Both teams have fouled quite a bit here. That's the sixth foul on the line. Stolen away. No, not stolen away. And block. And the shot is good there on the football. Right back the other way in a foul. Would be one on one free throws. First free throw good, 26 to play. One more free throw. So free throw rattles out, tough rebound belongs to Diamond. And they come to the Tigers. Three ball launch, no good. And a tough re board, rebound and a foul belongs to the So that's the seventh and they'll shoot one and one down here. First is good. 26 21. Now down to 244 to go. In the second quarter. Second free throw takes home as well. And so I was right, hanging with the Lady Tigers here. 26 22. 241 to go. Looks like it might have been tipped there, but it still stays with the Lady Tigers. Two and a half left. Both teams still playing hard despite the foul and the interpretation. Somehow it's charged. So like, <laughs> and a turnover. The interpretation is a little different than Oklahoma. Maybe walk there, but got away with it. 
underneath the basket, blocked. Possibly a rebound still loose. And say possibly though for Southwestern Heights for a moment. But it turns over. And so these Kansas refs interpretation of fouls they are a lot more picky about what constitutes a foul. One left, drive, and a foul. Free throw good. 27 to 22. And the second free throw will as well. 28 to 22. With a 159 to go, first half. Pass cross court. And we're going to call it Perry there. <laughs> and a turnover. Another interesting call. There's a down in the back court. 150 to go. Lobbed underneath the basket. Going away. On the, they just all kind of converged there underneath the basket. On the pass. There's a foul. That's the ninth. So one on one free throws. Coming here the other one. First free throw good. If you're a basketball purist, this game might. If you're a basketball purist like I am, I should say. This game might be a little tough to watch. Second free throw. Battles out, no good. But the putback is no good as well, and the rebound is fought for, and it's a jump. And it belongs to Guyman, 129. There's the inbound. Let's see if they can use a little clock here. Where's the basket? Step back, shot, no good. Rebound, five, four, and one by Southwestern Heights. And now here they are in the backcourt. Moving out of pressure. Across the timeline, pass ahead. And steps inside, backside wide open. Layup, no good, by five. Second shot, no good. 28-23, range the score. 55 seconds to go, first half, 28-23 game. A drive, and a kick. Guys are three, off the mark. Rebound belongs to the Southwestern Heights. And here they go. Dribbling through pressure. 35 seconds to go and move the basket, turn around and shot, no good. Oh, well, maybe it could have had a foul there. Top of the key. 22 seconds to go. 9 to 19, stolen away. 15 seconds. 13, 12, 11. Step back jumper, good. Just a hidden jumper. 23 with five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And no good. At the end of the first half, it's 30 to 23. Liberal lead, Southwestern Heights. What the? Okay, and we had a couple of technical difficulties, but we're ready to go. As we get the second half underway here with the Lady Tigers leading, the Lady Tigers of Diamond leading now 32 to 23 over Southwestern Heights. The Lady Mustangs. <laughs> we have, I don't know what happened here, but uh, we are now here with you. Okay. And so now a foul here, third quarter. First free throw bounces out, no good. It will stay 32 23. 
try one more. And if we throw off front iron, no good. Rebound belongs to Benny. That's thrown away. And a foul. First free throw off front iron, no good. 6.59 to go. We're a minute and a second in here to this third quarter. Slated for four. Second free throw up and good. I got 33 24. Here comes Guyman the other way. I post pass uncontrolled. Now it's finally grabbed there and a step back jumper. No good. Rebound still loose. And it belongs to Southwestern Heights. Here come the Lady Mustangs with a chance to work into this deficit here a little bit. Wall pass control there over the left hand side. Short corner, back side pass, and easy left is good. And Southwestern Heights is good for the second half. And some of those halftime adjustments really starting to pay off here in this early going. As they trail now 32 26. Easy pass on the back side there for Diamond. And that makes it 34 26. Two minutes in here to this third quarter. Open three. A little long, no good. Rebound belongs to Guyman. Here come the Lady Tigers. It's outside, now drives. And a foul. So here comes the inbound underneath the basket. Five fifty to go. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Gunn. Where's the inbound? Oh, lost the handle of it, and out of bounds. Got a turnover. Timeout. Thirty-four twenty-six. Gunn leads over Southwestern Heights. And so here comes Southwestern Heights, trailing 34-26. Five and a half to go, third quarter. It's a lot quicker pace here in this third quarter. Kicks outside. Second into the three, blocked. Rebound corral, blocked into the basket. And good. 34-28, sometimes you just get those rolls. Here comes Diamond the other way, quickly underneath the basket. Easy layup, good. 628. The offenses start to heat up here as they're allowed to get kind of into the rhythm in this second half. That's what she wanted to do. Underneath the basket, stolen away, pass ahead. The dribbles right past, showing great speed, and the easy layup is good. And a timeout. So here comes Southwestern Heights with it. They trail by 10, 38-28. Long pass stolen away as the Lady Tigers trying to try to insert their will a little bit here as it's ground off the bad pass. And ahead come the Lady Tigers. Drive. Now stepping back. Three ball, left side, off the mark. Board belongs to Southwestern Heights, and here comes Lady Mustangs. Halfway through this third quarter, it's 38-28. I'm in the lose. Block, maybe a foul there. And they're going to get a secondary foul. Now they're going to say travel. He changed his mind. Here's the inbound. Timeline. Setting back and a foul. And two free throws. First free throw is good. The 39, 28, 350 to go. Third quarter. As both teams try to kind of get in a rhythm here a little bit off on the offensive end been a little bit of a 
challenge as both free throws are good, makes it 40 to 28 now. Been a little bit of a challenge here for Southwestern Ice to find an offensive rhythm if they'll get the ball after it rolls out of bounds. At the fingertips of a lady fighter. They've kind of struggled against this zone defense. They lived off of free throws in the first half. And maybe they'll have to do so here in the second half as well as the shot is good on the foul. That's the lead to 10. Then a free throw, a free throw to make it nine. Tough pass and a foul. Looks like two free throws going on here for Lady Tigers. Free throw off the mark, no good. No miss the second end of our double header, the boys game between Southwestern Heights Mustangs and the homestanding Diamond Tigers. As the second free throw is good. Tip, it's controlled there, the short corner underneath the basket, and there it is good. Oh, here comes Donald quickly the other way, showing great speed, just coast to coast, great pass under the basket, and the layup is good. Wow. What a possession that was. Back up to 10, 33 33. Lady Tigers trying to show their will here a little bit in the second half. Third quarter. And a timeout. Back to the action we go. Two and a half to go in this third quarter. Oh, great play there to control that pass. Step back, jump shot, no good. And we got it. We're on the way up. 43-35 now. 219 to go. Third quarter. Set here for a decisive fourth. Lady Tigers with it. Trying to find some kind of offensive prowess. Launches a three. Bounces out. No good. Rebound. Lady Tigers and a foul. First free throw. Good. Forty-four thirty-five score. Got a chance to uh, lock it back up to ten here with a made free throw. Second free throw off the mark, and a rebound controlled by Southwestern Heights. Now it's loose, and I say a jump ball and a turnover. So it'll be Gaiman Ball underneath their own basket trail or leading by the line. 44-35 with 151 to go. Inbound, three off the mark. A little too quick. And out of bounds it goes in the turnover. So here comes Southwestern Heights. Lady Mustangs trail 44-35. Just got stolen away and in travel. Sagan has got it back again after the turnover. One thirty-five to go. Third quarter. Jump shot, no good. 
Rebounds, that goes from the Heights. On the backcourt. Trying to work across the half-court line, finally does so. And a foul. The fourth on Lady Tigers. Goes the inbound, right side. Backs down. Now great pass, back side, stepping back, layup, just bounces out, no good, that was a good look. And here comes Diamond the other way with it. One minute to go, third quarter. Pass ahead, three ball, right side, off the mark. And standing out of bounds in a corner. No, they're gonna say foul. Taps the ball, here comes the inbound. Lob, shot is good. Like at 46, 35, 50 seconds to go, third quarter. Pass ahead, tipped, and loose ball is corralled here. And got out of it. Coming into a three. The dagger was good. 49-35 now, 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. Coming down the wire here, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10 seconds to go. Looking back side, is bouncing out of bounds and turnover. Tip, still loose. Final crowd by Diamond and foul. So 3.6 to go. And then down coming. Substitution. the lob, four seconds, three, two, one. Throws it up, no good. And that's in the third quarter, 49-35. The Diamond Lady Tigers lead Southwestern Heights, Lady Mustang. Here we go, fourth quarter underway, 49-35. Diamond leads Southwestern Heights in the first game of a doubleheader. Southwestern Heights with the basketball. Facing a, facing a, Stout comeback possibility. And a foul there. South Russian Heights are under, underneath their own basket. Lob inbound. Top of the key. Kicks over to the left. Launches a three off the mark. Diamond's got it and they're off and running the other way. Drives. One-handed jump shot, no good. Rebound, Southwestern Heights. And they're gonna need some points here. And some stops like that. Come back in this ball game. And if you're asking to shoot a corner down the drive, and a foul. That's the sixth foul on the diamond. For three throw off the mark. Stays 49-35. And it belongs to Diamond. Pass ahead. Drive. Kicks outside. Swing. Drive baseline. High post. Jump shot. No good. Got her own rebound. Drives. Now they'll reset things and try again. A minute into this fourth quarter. Three ball is good. 52-35. Fifty to go. Tries a three of her own. No good. And air ball. Come 
Here comes Guyman, 6.38 to go, fourth quarter. Drives, tries a shot, blocked. Pass ahead, here comes Southwestern Heights. And lost it out of bounds, and we're gonna say it's a turnover. Back to Guyman. Two minutes in here to this fourth quarter, 52-35. Guyman with it. They lead here. They kind of put together a strong second half after the back and forth first half. Those are Amanda, there's a foul. Push your throw good. Fifty-three thirty-five now, six oh three to go. And the second free throw is up and good. Make it fifty-four thirty-five. It's ballooned up to a nineteen point lead. Stolen away. As Guyman starts to kind of impose their will here. Pass over the basket. Layup is good. Fifty-six thirty-five now. Twenty-one point game with five forty-five to go. Southwestern Heights in deep trouble. Shot off the mark. Rebound, Liz Guidance. Here come the Lady Tigers the other way. Pass ahead, ball fake. Three ball up. Bounces out, no good. Rebound is no good. And a turnover. Here comes Southwestern Heights. 20 to go, fourth quarter. Tip stolen away, pass ahead. Here comes Guyman, and just kind of drove through traffic and went for a block. First free throw is good. One more free throw coming here, 57-35, as Guyman starts to kind of pull away here in the uh, late portions of this ball game. Second free throw hits home. And substitution. Here comes Southwestern Heights with it. Across the timeline. They've got five minutes to work right here. Down by 23. Pass ahead and timeout. Back to the action we go. 58-35, Southwestern Heights with the ball. They trail this one to the Diamond Lady Tigers, who have the board and are off and running. Draws the foul and the basket's good. 60-35, and the M1 free throw coming up here. Free throw no good, rebound is Guymans. Underneath the basket, tried to fight for it, and a jump, which will stay with Guyman. Four thirty-two to go, underneath the basket, shot up no good. And a foul. Sorry, the fourth foul, I was a mind twist there. It said five with four. I was reading it as four with five. So 60 to 36 remains the score. 428 left in the ball game. Playing out the stretch here. As Diamond looks like they'll roll away with this victory here. It's not over till it's over, obviously. But, uh, it's looking good for the homestanding Lady Tigers. No good, and the rebound belongs to Gowden. Pass ahead. Tax, jump shot good. It's 
So I was from high, he's tipped under the basket. And it's stolen away. Drives. 62-36. South Ocean Highs with it, just dribbles out of the trouble there. Right at the basket. I'm sorry, on the right hand side. Gets back to the top. Now underneath the basket, short corner, backside pass. So the end of the jump shot. Good. And here we go with three minutes to go. And we're going to say a foul on the floor. First free throw, good. Sixty-three to thirty-eight. Three twelve to go. We try to play out the stretch here. This one. Second free throw bounces out, no good. Rebound, Southwestern Heights. And here come the Lady Mustangs. Drive, kick now, drive again. Back to the top. Number three to go in the ball game. Southwestern Heights trying to find a way here to get something going. And a foul. Here in this one. Let's we throw a no good. So one more free throw to go here. 63 38 is the score, 243 to go. On this one. Another free throw good. 63 39. So clock running here. Pass ahead quickly. See if they just try to take their time here and work some time off the clock. They do not as they try to step back jump shot, which is good. 65 39. And they're going to try to trap here. Pass ahead. And kicked ahead, gets the screen. Off the handle, got him back underneath the basket. Step back and walk right in the hands of the Lady Mustang. He makes the jump shot. 65 41 now, two minutes to go. Diamond way out in front here. They will, it appears they will, bring an epic comeback, win this one. That back jumper is good. And they put together a very strong second half and what was shaping up to be a great game. They fought through the fouls and started making jump shots. They'll have a foul there. As the first free throw is good. Good, 63, 40, 67-43. Made the basket, lost the handle, got it back. Setting it up again. 127 to go, made the basket. The line, no good. One twenty-four to go, playing out the stretch here. Let's see if they can get through this last one twenty-four without a foul. Second is good. 68-43, one twenty-three to go. As ahead, it's tipped and knocked out of bounds. And some substitution now. That's the ref high fives the fan there in the crowd. That was kind of a neat moment. 115 to go. Playing out the stretch here. 
kind of trying to get through here. This one as we approach a minute to go. Mass substitutions. Diamond's got a new five on the floor. Knocked out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Lady Tigers. With 59.9, so about a minute to go here. And here's the amount. As the Lady Tigers look to kind of milk the clock here a little bit. Take their time and get out of here with the W as they lead 68-43, putting together a very strong second half. Trying to push there and off it's a foul. Can't do that. And there's a turnover. Forty-two seconds to go. Sixty-eight forty-three, playing out the stretch. Diamond falls into their two-three zone. As the Lady Mustangs try to go to work here and get one last stitched effort off the mark on the three, saved, and it's loose, lost, and a travel. So it'll belong to Southwestern Heights with 25 seconds left. There's the inbound left corner. Underneath the basket, layup. Up, no good. And I'm going to say a foul there. Really no sense in fouling. But unless we'll shoot two more free throws here with 18 seconds left. 21 fouls here in the second half. And that was the first three throw no good. And more free throw on the way. And it's good. 68 43, 17 seconds to go. And the basket. And a hard foul. So to get two more free throws on the way. First free throw, no good. Second free throw, good. 69-44, 12 seconds left. Still loose. Eight seconds, five seconds, three, two, one, and that's it. The final score here in the women's game, Diamond beats Southwest Knights, 69-44. It's all about attitude. It's all about kindness. It's all about community. Experience Living Green. Reach toward your goals, no matter how small or big they appear. It's all about encouraging others and being a part of this community and being a better you. The Living Green family of races has been a part of hundreds of people's lives, encouraging them to never give up on themselves or their community. For more than half a decade, Living Green has reinforced its philosophy that it's never too late to begin a healthy lifestyle. Every moment in life essentially begins with a single step, perseverance, attitude, and never giving up. Walk, run, volunteer, and cheer, and be a part of the Living Green experience.